I'd like to welcome you for the fourth day of the journey of self discovery course and there's only two more days to go and you will be successfully through if you have attended all six sessions if you survive today you will come tomorrow i don't know how many of you would survive today topic is intense and we will see how many of you survive this in this topic he was telling uh, rasika chare proves the sound system man he said aaj kitne bachte hain dekhte hain dekhte hain so <coughs> we just go through the first 3 days summary slides i'm not going to explain you may just go through them and i think you have the notes for them as well day one search for happiness <coughs> 30 seconds to look at the slide of what we discussed day two does god exist 30 seconds to go through the quick summary of the slide <coughs> and yesterday we discussed who am i we covered the topic how we are not the body we are the spirit soul we spoke about proof for the existence of the soul we spoke about how seeing the soul or god needs a process we spoke about the three kinds of bodies we have gross subtle and spiritual bodies and we spoke about the seven qualities of the soul in this acronym called fire dog this evening we are looking at a topic called one god or many gods and i think like i mentioned on day 1 india soon seems to be like a supermarket of gods शॉपिंग मॉल में इतने लोग हैं विच वन टू पिकअप यू डोंट नो मेनी पीपल आर टर्न ऑफ फ्रॉम द पाथ ऑफ हिंदुइजम बिकॉज इट सीम्स टू बी लाइक अ पॉलिथीस्टिक रिलीजन विद सो मेनी पर्सनैलिटीज टू वर्शिप येट अदर्स थिंक दैट वील वर्शिप एवरी वन बिकॉज किसी को भी नाराज करेंगे तो शाप बाप लग जाएगा इट्स क्वाइट अमेजिंग यू नो लेट्स लुक एट what it is all about is there one god or are there many gods what do you all feel one god is one you are sure you are a hindu many you are sure kind of okay okay Huh? There are de- many deities, but God is one. Like which deities? Okay. God is one and has come in the form of many. Some say God is one. Some say He is many. Some say one has come in the form of many. I think we will definitely have to look at an answer to that question is god truly one or are there many gods when you look at the sun some will call the sun bhaskar some will call the sun dinkar some will call the sun ravi some will call the sun surya some will call the sun suraj yet some will call the sun sonze russian some will call the sun yang guang chinese some will call the sun soleil french just because the sun shines on paris france and is called soleil is it a different sun from the indian sun just because the sun shines in rajasthan and the sun also shines in gujarat is it a rajasthani and a gujarati sun the sun is one known by many different names in different pa- parts or different parts of the world it's not that we have too many suns we only have one sun known by different names so also we have one god known by different names we don't have many gods hinduism is not a polytheistic religion it is a monotheistic religion 
Just like Christianity claims to be a monotheistic religion by talking of one God, Islam claims to be a monotheistic religion by talking of one God, so does Hinduism also talk about a monotheistic religion where there is one God known by different names. May I ask you a question? Is your God all powerful? Whatever concept of God you have, would you consider your God to be the all powerful one? Yes? Then I must say that your God is Allah. Because Allah means all powerful. The word in Arabic, the Arabic countries, the word used for the all powerful one is Allah. So when I say that my God is not Allah, what do I say? My God is not all powerful. In the Hebrew language, the all merciful one is called Yehovah. Yehovah means the all merciful one. When I say that my God is not Yehovah, that means my God is not all merciful. All merciful, Yehovah, all powerful, Allah. When that God has the quality of being all attractive, attraction in Sanskrit is called Akarshan. And in the word Akarshan, you get the alphabets Karashana. And therefore, when we talk about a personality who is all attractive, he gets the name Krishna. One who gives pleasure is called Rama. Ramayati iti Ramaha. And therefore, God gets the name Rama. We are not talking of different gods. We are talking of the one God, the same Father, known as Allah because He is all-powerful, known as Yahuwah because He is all-merciful, known as Krishna because He is all-attractive, known as Ram because He is the reservoir of all pleasure. God gets all His names based on His qualities. Apna naam aur quality mein koi correlation rehta hi nahi. Naam kya hai? Lakshmi Pati. Dadar bridge pe bhikari Katori leke bait hai. There is no correlation between the names. Once I asked a, a friend of mine, Kidhar ja raha hai? Bola, Amar ki antim yatra pe ja raha hu. Aray, his name is Amar. Amar ki antim yatra kaise ho sakti hai? Aak se anda, naam nayan sukh. My God. Sushil, Sushil ka shil to dekho, charitra. Sushil is so much of a man, the name of Sushil and what he does is, oh my God. There is no correlation between the name we have and the qualities we have. One of my friends told, his name was very funny. He was given the name Fancy. So I asked him, hey, are you a Christian? The first time I met him. He said, no, I am a Hindu. Fancy Vijayan, South Indian. I said, how did you get that name fancy? He said, when my mother gave birth to me, my grandmother was with my mother in the maternity ward. My father was at home. So my grandma was so excited, a grandson is born. She called up my father. Hey, your son is born to you, son is born to you. And my father was looking for the meaning of some words in the dictionary. He was in F. And the first name he saw, the first word he saw when he got the phone call was fancy. So he told my grandmother, fancy naam rakhenge iska. Mai bola, aur bhi kai shabd aate hai isse. Abhi kya bolu, mai aage kya bolu. Bhoat sare words F se shuru ho. Agar koi gad bade yaha waan naam dik jata. One of my friends in Bombay, his sister's son, they gave the name to the son, Chill. The name of the child is Chil Patel. Now imagine if he goes to school, everyone is going to call him Chil. Hey Chil, chill out, chill. My God. Names in this world and qualities have truly nothing to do with each other. Once James Bond 
was on a flight and there was a again my humor must be taken in the right spirit here yeah? nothing communal a telugu fellow was sitting right next to him andra it you know sitting right next to james bond so he asked him what's your name and you know james bond style unimitable style he said the name is bond james bond he turned over to the andra and said what's your name he said the name is reddy shiva reddy samba shiva reddy venkata samba shiva reddy ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ವೆಂಕಟ ಸಾಂಬಾ ಶಿವ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಎರಲಗಡ್ಡ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ವೆಂಕಟ ಸಾಂಬಾ ಶಿವ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ರಾಜಶೇಖರ ಎರಲಗಡ್ಡ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ವೆಂಕಟ ಸಾಂಬಾ ಶಿವ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಸೀತಾ ರಾಮಾಂಜ ನೇಯಲು ರಾಜಶೇಖರ ಎರಲಗಡ್ಡ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ವೆಂಕಟ ಸಾಂಬಾ ಶಿವ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ವಿಜಯವಾಡ ಸೀತಾ ರಾಮಾಂಜ ನೇಯಲು ರಾಜಶೇಖರ ಎರಲಗಡ್ಡ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ವೆಂಕಟ ಸಾಂಬಾ ಶಿವ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಜೇಮ್ಸ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಫೇಂಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಎನಿ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಗಾಯ್ ಸಿಟ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀ ನೆವರ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಸ್ ದೆಮ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಸೇ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಗಾಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ದಟ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಅನ್ಲೈಕ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ರೋನಕ್ ಅಚ್ಚ ಅಚ್ಚ ಅಪ್ಪ ಮಾನವೇಂದ್ರ ಮಾನವೋಂ ಕೆ ಇಂದ್ರ ಇಂದ್ರ ಕಾ ಮತಲಬ ರಾಜಾ ಸಾರೆ ಮಾನವೋಂ ಕೆ ರಾಜಾ ಅಪ ರಾಜಾ ಹೇಕ ಶುಭ ನಾಮ ಹಾರ್ಥ ಪಾರ್ಥ ಮತಲಬ ಪೃಥಾ ಕಾ ಬೇಟಾ ಅಪಕಿ ಮದರ ಕಾ ನಾಮ ಪೃಥಾ ಹೇಪ ರೋಹಿತ್ ನಿಂಗ್ ಛೋಡ ಬೋಲ ಡರ ಗಿಯಾ ಕೂ ಬೋಲ ದೇ ಮೇರೆ ನಾಮ ಮೈ ಗಾಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಬೈ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಾ ಆಲ್ ಮರ್ಸಿಫುಲ್ ಯಹೋವಾ ಆಲ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ಲೆಜರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ರಾಮ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ದಟ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಗಾಡ್ then why there are so many different scriptures that one god known as krishna allah ram yahova so what's the need for so many different faiths and books you know you have a bible you have the quran you have the gita you have the torah you have the granth sahib why so many books that's why we are all confused you know have one book let everyone follow it you're saying there's one god so let there be one book let there be one scripture so everyone all over the planet follows that book why there are so many different books and scriptures if there is one god you know mathematics teacher of course you don't guide get teachers looking like that in school these days <coughs> a mathematics handsome guy is not teaching mathematics actually one of our devotees i don't know if he's here he is he was here yesterday he has started teaching in a college you know and one girl just seeing his looks is so madly after him that now when he goes to another class to teach and she has another class here she leaves that own class and goes to wherever he is and sits in that class so he is thinking to padhne aayi hai ki mere piche ban lagne aayi hai my god intense you know a mathematics teacher interesting how he teaches kids isn't it a mathematics teacher has no how of mathematics if he is done msc in mathematics phd in mathematics he has the complete know how of mathematics but he or she will teach mathematics according to the level of the understanding of the student if a mathematics teacher comes to the classroom second standard and asks the kid beta how much is 2 minus 1 the child will say 1 but how much is 1 minus 2 so hey 
you can't subtract a larger number from a smaller number teacher now the teacher comes to class 5 the same teacher how much is 2 minus 1 1 how much is 1 minus 2 minus 1 he knows the number line how much is cos of 60 degrees cos what cos i only know there is one cos of my anxiety you <laughs> i don't know any other cos <laughs> my god now the teacher comes to class 9 how much is 2 minus 1 beta 1 how much is 1 minus 2 beta minus 1 how much is cos of 60 degrees nahi malum ka chartered accountancy padta hai one half you know she asks what is the laplace's transform of cos of 60 degrees laplace ये क्या आया शॉक्ट देन शी गोज टू एन इंजीनियरिंग क्लास रूम वेन आई वेंट टू इंजीनियरिंग माई मैथमेटिक्स टीचर फर्स्ट डे ऑफ क्लास कम्स अप एंड सेज आई वुड लाइक टू रिसाइड टू ऑल ऑफ यू अ पोयम दैट ऑल माई स्टूडेंट रोट ऑन मी आई शुड लुक एट दिस गाइज गट्स इज रिसाइटिंग अ पोयम दैट वन ऑफ स्टूडेंट रोट ऑन हिमसेल्फ इज सेट द पोयम इज एज फॉलोज यू नो simple simple repeated difficult difficult omitted portion is completed <laughs> professor shinde here <laughs> i was thinking god what i'll have to dive deep into my textbooks you know studying mathematics he has how much is 2 minus 1 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 cos of 60 degrees half laplace's transform of cos of 60 degrees 0.75832. That's not the answer. I say guess. Bola hai main. Sab bola hai. Aapko yaad hai? <laughs> That's just the guess. He asked, now what is the Fourier series? Fourier integral of cos of 60. You see how mathematics goes on advancing. From kindergarten, class two, class five, class nine, engineering, PhD. A teacher who knows mathematics thoroughly well will go to each of those classes, but will teach those students according to the level of their understanding. If mathematics subject is one, why there are so many books on mathematics? Why do you have so many textbooks? Why not have one textbook on mathematics? Only one textbook from kindergarten to PhD, one textbook. My God. PhD, permanent head damage. <coughs> you know, sit there and study one textbook for all. Why not? Why not? Let a class two kid and a class ten kid study the same book. Why so many books if the subject is one? Because the levels are different. there are many books although the subject is one because the capacity of the understanding of each student is different a teacher came to a class and said to a boy beta arnav if i give you two mangoes and two mangoes how many will you have he said five teacher was upset i just taught addition said arnav if i give you two mangoes and two mangoes how many will you have count he said five she shouted arna if i give you two mangoes and two mangoes she put four mangoes there how many will you have actual four mangoes said five then she realized the mother had said arna doesn't like mangoes a small child he is to be taught according to his level capacity to understand the teacher remembered she remembered that The mother had said that Arnav likes strawberries. So Arnav, if I give you two strawberries and two strawberries, how many will you have? He said four. Oh, the teacher was visibly pleased with her change of strategy. She said, "I taught him right, you know." 
he said just to cross check whether he's understood addition let me get back to my original example and said and now if i give you two mangoes and two mangoes how many will you have and he said five now the teacher yelled at him you not how can you say five you just said four now you're saying five arna put his hand in his bag and pulled out one mango and said i already have one <laughs> you're saying two mangoes and two mangoes and here's one already in my bag it makes it five isn't it friends ladies gentlemen guys girls take a very important life lesson from this this is nothing to do with our geeta today this discussion but take a very important life lesson this story it's a joke and people keep sending me n jokes on my text messages and on my mails i don't know i'm mean like a bandar of it when i read this it changed my life when i read this joke it changed my life and i'm sure it will change yours you know why was the teacher wrong no was arna wrong no the teacher was technically correct arna was practically correct many times in our relationships we get stuck with being technically correct whereas the other person is practically correct because that other person has a hidden mango why did a person say this or do this because there's something hidden underneath which we are not able to see there is a misunderstanding there is some kind of thing and we are judgmental immediately come to conclusions like arnav's teacher judgmental that arnav is wrong you will be branded as judgmental if you do not look at the hidden mango of the people whom we deal with you know why kids sometimes have a insecurity complex when there are two kids in the family and the second child is born the older child gets a insecurity com insecurity you know now all the attention will be stolen away they behave in certain ways we address only the behavior we don't address the mango that has caused that behavior remember one thing don't ever go by looks don't ever go by apparent behavior in words each one of us will thoroughly and deeply regret it i wish i shouldn't have said this i shouldn't have done it because technically we are right dikh raha hai samne practically we may be wrong the hidden mango doing it anyways that's just a off point <coughs> but to tell you something interesting why there are so many books in mathematics because there are so many levels of students jesus in jerusalem trying to preach there you know spoke to people about god spoke to people about relative things about god and then concluded by saying in the psalms oh men of less faith i have a lot to tell you now but you cannot handle it a mathematics teacher when he goes to class 2 he has a lot to tell them but they cannot handle it a mathematics teacher has trigonometry has laplace's transform he has fourier centri fourier integrals he has z transform but he cannot tell them he cannot handle it therefore jesus never mentioned what the name of god is only kept saying father in heaven oh father thou art in heaven hallowed be thy name let thy kingdom come let thy will be done on earth as is done in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation for yours is the kingdom and the glory forever amen didn't mention the name of god you know kya samjhenge why because all of his followers were fishermen stuck with fish and bread they didn't have any concept of love any concept of giving they were stuck with fish and bread if you read the bible carefully it has a lot of concepts and higher concepts like in the vedas but people whom he was talking to were on a certain level naturally although jesus knew everything he couldn't speak more than a certain limit jesus is said to be the son of god yesterday i mentioned is predicted in our scriptures the word sanskrit word used for jesus is isha putra what does isha putra mean the son of god isha putra ishwar ka putra that's the bible translation son of god said from isha putra comes isha 
from isa comes yeshua yeshua yeshu from yeshu jesus all derived from the sanskrit isha putra you know and can you imagine he didn't even speak everything he didn't even go and teach all the mathematics just revealed as much as they could take and for whatever he spoke na guess what they did to him his own men if only he would have spoken all what the gita says all what the vedas say god i don't know what they would have done to him they would have pounced on him and shredded him to pieces right there for whatever he spoke the limited knowledge that he gave the level of people was so low that being ungrateful he was handed over to the pagans the romans to be put on the cross the same jews that he tried to help and lead you know and then we have prophet muhammad <laughs> if jesus is the son of god then muhammad is the prophet of god pagambar come on behalf of god and he was preaching in the middle east to barbarians to barbarians and therefore in the 16th surah of the quran he had to said thou shall not have i'm not using the straight words here i'm not using the straight words that are used in the quran i've changed the word translation just for decency in a crowd like this he said thou shall not have relations with your mother and your god what are we talking about what low class civilization that you have physical affairs with your mothers physical affairs with your sisters and siblings low class isn't it cheap now how do you tell a audience like that evolved knowledge about god he knows mathematics he is the prophet of god jesus is a, they are liberated souls they are perfect people but how do you talk to an audience like that first become a human being so rather than exploiting your mothers and sisters marry four or five as many as you want polygamy why polygamy because rather than having affairs and relations with your mother and your sister at least marry and be peaceful with five other women you know and give them up whenever you like talaq 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 no problem any time you like just give them up you see the evolution of religion how it happens see how it, that knowledge was given so if you read the bible it's a preliminary textbook of spirituality just like class 2 text of math, book on mathematics is a preliminary textbook of mathematics and so is the quran and for whatever little he spoke na they drove him out of mecca and threw him out and imagine on the battlefield of kurukshetra lord krishna speaking the gita to arjun whereas jesus had to tell his people thou shall not kill krishna had to tell, tell arjun thou shall kill what a peaceful man here for the sake of dharma thou shall kill and here these people were to be told you should not have relations with your mothers and sisters and arjun to get weapons when he went to the heavens indra was sitting on his throne he said welcome son and as arjun was sitting there he called for the best heavenly damsel urvashi she was dancing now arjun was just appreciating the dance her skill when he looked at her indra thought he is interested father he told urvashi go in a secluded place when he is alone now you go so she went and she proposed to arjun you are alone i am alone this none of these things that apply in heavens come on man what are you waiting for come on urvashi was standing there waiting for arjun's response arjun fell at her feet <coughs> bowed down to her and said mata ji my god saying mata ji to urvashi is a big insult whenever in our uh, uh, some of times our monks brahmacharis go out distributing geetas during december so at church gate one of our monks was putting up a book stall and selling geetas and an 18 year old teenage girl came there and she asked him how much is that geeta for and in iskon we address ladies as mata ji 
तो ही सेड एट्टी रुपीज माता जी शी वॉज अनॉइड माता जी दिखती हूं मैं तुझे अठारह साल की माता जी दिखती हूं तुझे शी वॉज सो अनॉइड यू नो शी जस्ट स्लैम द गीता डाउन एंड दिस मंक सेड अरे यू मे नॉट यू मी माता जी बट पोटेंशियल यू और माता जी ओनली नो वन डे यू माता जी सोट ऑन वरी शी वॉज सो एंग्री she was annoyed i proposed to him look at what was she cursed him may you become a eunuch and upon sakain for one year arjun was brihannala look at the audience the audience was listening to the geeta has such dignity that when someone comes and proposes like that is treating that lady with dignity saying you are like a mother to me how can you do this you know and therefore naturally you can expect that in the geeta you get higher and more evolved knowledge about god the bible the quran are authentic textbooks of dharma they are just incomplete why are they incomplete because they are spoken to an audience which was not on the level of getting complete knowledge you see bible is bona fide authentic quran is bona fide authentic the geeta is bona fide authentic just like a class 2 class 10 and a phd textbook on mathematics all are authentic it's just that one is more complete than the other therefore in the geeta we will find knowledge the vedic literatures will find knowledge which we will not easily find in these other literatures like in the bible it says god said let there be earth and there was earth god said let there be water and there was water god said let there be air and there was air If you read the Bhagavat and the Vedic literatures, you will find the technical details of how God composed earth, how God composed water, because the students who were receiving it were more evolved. Are you all with me? And do you get the answer to your question why there are so many books when there is one God? There are so many books because there are so many levels of people, and based on the level of the people, the message was given. In fact, Bible and Quran is not a holy book technically. it's not directly given by god as the vedas are it was written by the followers later the bible is a recollection of the 12 apostles the 12 followers of jesus peter matthew john and therefore you will find all those sections called as john john 1.2.3 matthew 3.5.7 it's a reminiscing the recollection of what matthew remembers from the teachings of jesus what john remembers from the teachings of jesus whereas when you talk about the gita you find krishna straight speaking the gita to arjuna you know what i was in goa and i had a classroom in a college but 250 students 200 of whom were roman catholics so i kept talking about god 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 and then one lady <coughs> she stood up and said which god are you talking about huh which god what is the name of that god so then i took a cup of water i had a cup of a bottle of water i took it up like this and i said what is inside this he said water i said no so i looked at the dean who was sitting right next to me i said what is inside madam so she was con- confused pani nahi hai bol raha to kya so she said uh, h2o I looked on my right side. She said, "Space, ada khaliye to space." And then I gave the same example as that of the sun. Said water, known as water, pani, nira, salila, toya, veldam, veldam. In the morning, Shari, okay, veldam, tanni, niru. Voda, Voda is Russian. If you go to a restaurant and tell him, "Give me some Voda," he'll bring you batata Voda. In <laughs> Russian Voda means what? I told her this is one water known by so many different names. So I am referring to the same God as yours. She said, "Are you a Christian?" I told her, "Yes, I am. I am a Christian." It's a very revolutionary statement to make.
Reverend Father Gaur Gopal Das. <laughs> I said I am a Christian. Because what is a Christian? One who follows the Christ. Words of the Christ is a Christian. And the Christ says thou shall not kill. I said madam what, do you, what did you have for breakfast today? So she said something which didn't fit into the teachings of the Christ. Thou shall not kill. So what are you talking? Are you a Christian? If you are a Christian you will follow the Jesus and not kill. I am a Christian because I don't kill. And what did the Christ say? Love thy God with all thy might, with all thy soul. And love thy neighbor as thyself. You may profess to be a Christian and worship God and you are fighting with your next door neighbor. You are judgmental about your own family members. What religion is this? To me, to me, any religion, any path of spirituality is a path that will bring transformation in the follower. Transformation in his attitudes, transformation in his sensitivities, transformation in his lifestyle, transformation in his dealings. That man, that lady is a changed person in a positive way. You're not judgmental, criticizing, abusive. I see people who follow not just Christianity, Islam, Hinduism alike, Jainism alike, Judaism alike, Sikhism alike, whatever other religion it may be. And I see people who follow that religion abusing their wives. Abusing their wives. Speaking such unkind, horrible words to their wives. For no mistake, for a little bit upar niche to chalta raha tha. This is religion? Is this what religion and dharma is meant to do? To not even have the basic human sensitivities? My God, that lady was shocked when I said I am a Christian. Christianity means following the words of the Christ. So I hope you have an answer to this question now. If God is one, why there are so many scriptures? <coughs> you know? Does God have a form? Or is he formless? Is God light? Or is God a person like me? Uh, what's your name? You, 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 you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Anil. What's your father's name? Chagan. <laughs> Surname? Anil Chagan Purohit. Uh, does your father have a face? And what about hands? What about a whole body? Yes. Have you ever seen your grandfather's picture? You have. Did your grandfather have a nose? What about hair? If it's an old picture, that hair may go away. That's another thing. <laughs> that to look at mine, I voluntarily taken it off. Sometimes people call me Takale Takale. I mean, the way people ridicule me is like funny, you know. They call me, Mirinda, kaisa hai? <laughs> because in Bombay, they used to have this Mirinda advertisement where a takla was posing with orange clothes. So, jabhi dekhega, Mirinda. I went to one of our devotees' home, you know, and knocked at the door. And a little child opened the door and saying, Papa, Papa, baja ki dekho. <laughs> so, I was surprised what happened, you know. Those days that FM Radio Mirchi had a bald guy with his head behind like this and all over billboards and two hands on his head, Baja Ke Dekho. That was Baja Ke Dekho for FM. But the advert was also, when he saw me, he said, Papa, Baja Ke Dekho. So the father was so embarrassed. He said, sorry, Ha Prabhuji. Well, bacha hai, koi baat nahi. Don't worry. So I get all kinds of people, you know, telling me all, and Dhamma or Dhamma is to the most common. They'll say, Swamiji, kya Hare Krishna, Hare Ramas, kya maar ke hai? It's a pretty common thing for people to come and say that to me. You know, Dhamma, Rodham and all that stuff. One time a person said, kya? Baal gaya? Mai bula, baal diya. Gaya ni. Tera na ek ek jayega. Mai ne khud nikal ke diya hai. Sometimes people feel sadhu hai na, iska phir ke le sakte hai. They don't know these sadhus are very smart ones. 
they don't know their educated sadhus who know how to take you for a toss you know <laughs> huh pardon me okay okay fine i'll ask you what you said later <laughs> my father had a form my grandfather had a form my grandfather's father great grandfather had a form and my great grandfather's father had a form i've never seen a child born out of light huh prakash mai sasa tapka when i have a form na logically it means that my father has had a form and i don't know if the supreme father of all fathers who came, who's the original father how would he be formless i must share an experience with you i was traveling on british airways to london 6 years back i had the middle seat my colleague had the aisle and there was a man of the islamic faith sitting in the window seat he was a british person i mean born brought up in britain so as soon as i kind of steadied myself in my middle seat this man asked me what's your name i said gor that's all i say gor gopal das bahut bada hota hai logon ke liye already with my name they do many things in marathi sometime one person introduce me aaj aplya madhyat gor gopal das alele mala mi gor ek kadu hai nantar pahuyat gor gopal and in hindi lecture one person announced saying aaj hamare beech mein gol gopal das main bola mera chehra to gol hai pura to gol nahi they can play around with my name a lot you know he asked me what's your name i said gor He said, "What's your name?" Something he said, "Saddam, Ham, Hamid, whatever." I said, "Where are you from?" It's Montasta. It's a very heavy accent, you know. People in north of England have a very heavy accent. Montasta. So you know, the flight took off, and when the flight takes off, is when I usually kind of take some time to take a nap. I don't know if any of you have ever experienced that one time when the flight takes off is like some dozing happens. You know, I don't know what phenomena it is. I just kind of dozed off, and suddenly, I found this guy patting on my back. I said, "Yes." She's asking. The stewardess had come. She's asking if you want something. I said, "I'm okay, nothing." The stewardess is asking, "Any drinks, sir?" Now she's a British girl. Usko kya malum ham drinks wings lete nahi hai. No, I'm okay, thank you. This guy is telling, "Take no." I said, "Rascal, you are telling me take the drinks. I don't drink." I said, "No, no, it's nice. You take." <laughs> I kept denying, and the stewardess in our arguments left. Then, I again kind of dozed off. Again, ten minutes later, patting me. I said, "Now what?" He said, "I was testing you." I said, "You are my guru, eh? Not for me to test me, that I am drinking or not drinking. I was testing how committed you are to your stuff." I said, "Thank you for testing me." then he says to me you guys you hindus you believe in a personality and a form of god there's nothing like a form of god god is formless nirakar light there's nothing allah is light i said my dear friend do you offer namaz daily this was not the guy this is just the slide of namaz huh? This is not the guy. बोले हमें उधर फोटो भी खींच लिया उधर उतने में कॉन्वर्सेशन में बोला पढ़ ले मैं फोटो खींचता हूँ यू नो सेड डू यू ऑफर नमाज इसे ऑफ कोर्स हाउ मेनी टाइम्स आई सेड फाइव आई आस्ट इन व्हाट इज़ अ नमाज इसे ऑफ प्रेयर अ प्रेयर टू हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू प्रे वाव यू नो समथिंग लाइफ इज़ फ्र handle with prayer you know they have this fragile handle with care life is fragile handle with prayer you know what the shortest distance between a problem and a solution is the distance between your knees and the ground fall and pray download your worries get online with god god answers knee mails doesn't answer emails god answers knee mails 
डोंट अलाउ प्रेयर टू बी लाइक अ स्पेयर व्हील ऑफ द कार हमारा प्रेयर कैसा है मालूम है ना एक्स्ट्रा चक्का रहता है ना गाड़ी में वैसे ट्रबल आया ना पंक्चर हो गया तभी निकलते हैं हम प्रेयर की प्रेयर एज अ स्टियरिंग व्हील ऑफ द कार यू के नॉट लेट गो ऑल थ्रू द जर्नी your steering wheel you can never let go it has to be there all the time don't keep it like a stepney a spare wheel only in punctures pull out puncture fail ho gaya ab bhagwa par 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 kar are heart toto all this this is how people pray only in time of difficulty 7 days without prayer makes one weak you know Seven days without prayer makes one week. Not W E E K. W E A K <laughs> makes one week. All of you pray. Do you expect your God to listen to your prayer? How many of you expect that God listens to your prayers? Raise your hands. बाकी लोग करते क्यों हैं प्रार्थना? हाँ? He's already listening to everyone. Wow. my god i asked this man you're saying namaz is a prayer na so if it's a prayer you expect allah listens to the prayer he said of course of course he listens to my prayer i said that means allah must be having ears no he said yes i said if allah is having ears then allah must be having a face also he said no i said you go back to manchester no point talking to you there's no point talking to you any further because do you just have ears hanging in the air if there are ears there is a face there is a nose and even in the quran it says even in the quran it says on the day of judgment those who are virtuous will stand on the right side of allah and those who are not will stand on the left side of allah left hand of allah it says left and right hand so left and right hand matlab do hand ke hawe mein latak rahe god is not a light he is a person because he is a person we are persons just like because your father has a form you have a form because god is a person we have personality but his personality and our personality are slightly different which is a topic of discussion later during our geeta classes for now suffice to say god does have a <coughs> form obviously <coughs> the question that would come to all of you now is who is that one god kaun hai wo बोलो बोलो कौन है वो हु इज दैट वन पर्सनैलिटी हु इज गॉड दैट वन पर्सनैलिटी हैज टू फिट इन टू द टू डेफिनेशन ऑफ गॉड दैट वी मेड ऑन डे टू यू रिमेंबर द टू डेफिनेशन ऑफ गॉड इफ ही डज नॉट फिट इन टू दो टू डेफिनेशन यू मे प्लीज लीव सम रूम फॉर मी टू वॉक if he does not fit into the two definitions of god one cannot call him god who is that one man one person whom we can truly call god you know what there were three guys on a boat and the boat was about to sink one of them was a hindu other was christian the third one a muslim and as the boat was about to sink the christian fell on his knees and started praying please please jesus jesus save me he was saved then the muslim fell on his knees and offered a namaz allah ya allah please save me he was saved and the third fellow said ganpati bappa save me he drowned तो बोले मुझे ड्राउन क्यों क्या बोला तू हर साल मुझे डुबाता है इस साल मैं डुबाऊंगा तुझे व्हाट यू आर डुबाउंग मी एवरी ईयर दिस ईयर इट इज माय टर्न व्हेन वी वर चिल्ड्रन क्रिश्चियन मिशनरीज वुड कम टू कन्वर्टर्स फ्रॉम क्लास फाइव टू क्लास नाइन आई वाज प्रैक्टिसिंग क्रिश्चियनिटी 
and in my class 9 i was to run away from home to become a christian monk what happened is a long story which cannot be told in this assembly here probably sometime when we start our geeta classes i'll narrate carefully how my path changed you know <coughs> some of those missionaries we were little kids they would come and once i remember they said go and bring one of the murtis from your home so one of our friends brought a shivlingam you know made of stone patthar ka shivlingam so i took that shivlingam took a pot of water and put the shivlingam inside the water the shivlingam sank bola ye tumhara bhagwan dubta hai tumko kya bajayega then he took a cross made of wood and put it on the water and the cross made of wood floated obviously so he just see ye jo tairta hai wohi to bachayega dubne wala tujhe kya dubne se bachayega and all of us kids would be like you know are sahi bol raha hai sahi bol raha hai right you know correct bol raha hai hamara dub gaya uska tair raha hai to humko wohi bachayega young kids after a while when he came one smart older fellow was there he interfered so he said go get your god so he got one shivling of other small fellow part of stone shivling so this older fellow came lit up a fire and put the stone stone shivling in that nothing happened said cross de tera <laughs> and put that cross in the fire and the cross was burnt to ashes bole dekh kaun bajata hai i'm surprised there is such communal discord such communal fighting and differences between people because of one thing we don't realize that we have the same father we don't realize we have the same father india pakistan what enmity my god what enmity you know one guy uh, american guy in saudi first uh, german guy in saudi stole you know chori karte pakda gaya ek german ek ek american aur ek indian you know i'm sorry uh, uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry an american a pakistani and an indian all three were caught stealing so they were brought to the sheikh the king of saudi and the king said to the american man you have so much money man in your country so much money you don't feel ashamed to steal i'm going to put you behind bars for the rest of your life the queen said the begum she said aaj mera janm din hai बेगम को गम नहीं दो आज ही सेड यू नो वॉट पार्डन हेम नो एज एन एक्ट ऑफ ग्रेस ऑन माई बर्थडे पार्डन हेम ही सेड ओके नो प्रॉब्लम आई पार्डन हेम बट यू नो ही हैज टू टेक सो मेनी अमाउंट ऑफ हंड्रेड विप्स ऑन इज बैक यू नो ही सेड हंड्रेड विप्स गिव अ कंसेशन यू नो सेड ओके नो प्रॉब्लम फिफ्टी विप्स हीज टू टेक एन हैंडल ऑन इज बैक सेड and allow him whatever he wants one more wish 50 whips and one more wish he said no problem <laughs> started whipping him you know in 20 whips he was gone and he has to take all he said any wish he said please tie a pillow on my back so they tied a pillow but in 20 whips the pillow was gone and he had to handle all. so then the king turned to the pakistani bola tu hamare dharm ka islam dharm ka aisa ganda kaam karta hai tere ko to begum wale same condition for him also so he took 20 whips said any wish he said tie two pillows please and that also broke open finally he turned to the indian he said this is what you do you are an indian man instead of honestly this is what you do you have to be whipped so as he was being whipped he said i have one wish so what is the wish he said tie the pakistani on my back let him handle all the rest of the <laughs> rest of the whips i'll tell you something all this communal disharmony is simply because of one thing that we don't understand that we have one father known by different names who is that one father friends ladies gentlemen guys girls are you ready are you ready are you ready i wish i had a dj along with me <laughs> <laughs> then it would have sounded great you know <laughs> are 
सब लोग बोल रहे अभी पता चला आपका एजेंडा <laughs> अभी पता चला आपका एजेंडा तीन दिन से घुमा रहा है हमको अभी समझा आप तो इस कौन वाले हैं कृष्णा वाले हैं तो आप तो बोलेंगे कौन छे भगवान कृष्ण कृष्ण छे ने मंदिर मा कोण छे राजा रण छोड़ छे भगवान श्री कृष्ण आणि महाराष्ट्रीयन कसे म्हणतात आता आम्हाला कळलं की तुमचा कृष्ण कसा भगवान आहे कृष्ण अँड बेंगोलीज अभि हमको पता लगा आपका किष्णो किष्णो ए पोबो हारे किष्णो डिफरंट प्लेसेस पीपल से डिफरेंटली यू नो आई एम श्युअर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ युअर थिंकिंग प्रभू जी दिस इज नॉट फेअर हा बिकॉज यू आर अ कृष्ण वाला यू इलेक्टेड हिम इफ आय वॉज अ शिव वाला That picture would be Mahadev. If I was a Ganpati wala, that picture would be Ganpati. Is it a question of being a Shiva wala, Krishna wala, Ganpati wala, or is it a question of being objective? Can we be sentimental and emotional about who is God, or should we be objective about who is God? Should we hold subjective opinions just because I like someone is God? our choice of god krishna as god is not because we like him it's not that i like krishna or anything therefore i chose krishna it's not that because krishna's color is black and mine favorite is black mera wala black so black black matching so i like krishna therefore because my favorite color is black you know one teacher came to the classroom and said okay children what is the color of uh, krishna so one guy said green teacher said rascal who taught you this <laughs> ram is green krishna is not green he is black he said no krishna is green who taught you iskon bhai iskon to aisa nahi se kar sakte yaar they are krishna people he said no iskon taught said what did he teach he said hare krishna hare ram <laughs> krishna bhi hare hain ram bhi hare hain <laughs> it's not that because my favorite instrument was the flute hari prasad chorasiya ka flute therefore i chose krishna suno suno saavare ki bamsi hai baaje aankhon se dhar dhar kajra bahe ji jiyara tar se naina tar se jiyara tar se नैना तर बोलो क्या हो गया आपको दिस इज अ सॉन्ग संग बाय द गोपीज वेन कृष्ण लीव फ्रॉम वृंदावन टू मथुरा सुनो सुनो सावरे की बमसी है बाजे बमसी वाला इसलिए चुना है इफ माई फेवरेट इंस्ट्रूमेंट वॉज गिटार देन हु बी माई गॉड लेट जेपलिन एरिक क्लैप्टन we didn't choose krishna as god because he is a thief and i am also <laughs> choro ka sardar <clears throat> jab main chhota bachcha tha badi sharaarat karta tha meri chori pakdi jaati jab roshni deta bajaj <laughs> kya rangin jawani thi ek raja aur rani thi raja rani pakde jaate जब रोशनी देता बजाज अब मैं बिल्कुल बूढ़ा हूं गोली खा के जीता हूं लेकिन आज भी घर के अंदर ही गोस्ट ओपन द फ्रिज विथ इस केक रोशनी देता बजाज थीफ चॉइस इज अ थीफ ओ कृष्णा विद दो सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड गोपी इज ना फ्लर्ट मैन फ्लर्ट माय चॉइस ऑफ कृष्णा इज गॉड बिकॉज मैं भी ऐसा सोलह हजार तो पॉसिबल नहीं है लेकिन अगर सोलह वोला थोड़ा यू नो वट द हाइट ऑफ फ्लटिंग द हाइट ऑफ फ्लटिंग इज समन राइट्स अ लव लेटर सेइंग टू होम सो एवर इट मे बी कंसर्न 
<laughs> our choice of krishna as god is not sentimental our choice of krishna as god is not based on likes and dislikes and emotions our choice of krishna as god is based on scripture you remember we have established scripture and why why to put faith in scripture okay <coughs> i'm going to ask a very explosive question pardon me for it how many of you know who your father is no no don't hat uthao mat chalega who told you proven how do you know sorry about such a horrible thing to say ha mummy ne bola man liya there is one more way to find out who your father is genetic finger testing to match the genes of every male with your genes and to find out who is your father assuming that we even test only 10% of the males on the planet na we will have to test 250 million males to find out who our father is and assuming that we only take a average time of about 100 seconds per male na we will take 800 hours 800 years of non stop testing and before that if the father goes you will never know who your father is before that if you go you will never know who your father is imagine the money spent the records what does anyone ever do it no oh, go to the mother mama who's my papa him no i don't think so papa mama <laughs> rascal you don't think so why look no mama his his nose is like samosa mine is like batata vada how can there be there's no correlation look his hair i'm dark when the mother says is there challenging the mother how many of you have challenged your mother saying i don't believe that the person who you're saying is my father how many of you have trusted the word of your mother and said yes mama i have no issue accepting that is my father all of us therefore just as we don't speculate who our father is we don't speculate who that god is he is our father just like we refer to the mother's word similarly we refer to the scriptures word who is like a mother therefore the scriptures here are called ved mata and yesterday i told you elaborately why we put our faith in the scriptures hip historical information predictions are proven it acts as an instruction manual the scriptures say that krishna is god let's go move ahead a little bit let's see how he fits into the two definitions of god hmm? everything in this world is a combination of alphabets isn't it a to z in kg you just say a for apple b for ball c for cat nowadays a to a to z has changed you know what is a to z american based confused desi escaped from gujarat housed in jersey keeping lotsa motels named omkarnath patel quickly reached success through underhanded vicious ways xenophobic yet zealous don't ask me where it came from that is the a to z is an a to z putting all of that together is a story put all those alphabets together you get a story put all those alphabets together you get a poem put all those alphabets together you get a narration put all those alphabets together you get a script of a movie all what we hear read is a combination of this 26 alphabets one guy in school was asked to write an essay in the history paper write an essay on hardwar basta this guy didn't know who hardwar basta was so he thought thought and he wrote something he wrote hardwar basta was the dobendi lactilized by the plactoni of tinda <laughs> so the teacher got the paper she read hardwar basta was the dobendi lactilized by the plactoni of tinda she looked into all dictionaries those words didn't exist <laughs> she passed him matlab kya creative hai naya word banaya putting all those alphabets together he has created a whole new word you know what this 26 things put together create a lot 
Similarly, these five elements, earth, water, fire, air, ether, which we heard yesterday, create a lot. Earth, water, fire, air, and ether put together, look what it has created. A five feet, ten inches body. Earth, water, fire, air, ether put together, look what it has created. An iPhone 5. Earth, water, fire, air, and ether put together, look, look what it has created. A plate. 26 alphabets combined together create so much. This five alphabets put together create so much. Five, ma five elements of matter. You know, earth, water, fire, air, and ether. And when it combines in a certain form, na, my God, the eyes glitter, you know. When you see the same elements in the form of an iPhone or an iPad. Wow. When a guy sees the same elements in the form of a girl, my God, when a girl sees the same elements, they are all earth, water, fire, and ether, this body. When the same elements are seen in the form of a girl or a boy, <laughs> zapped, you know? Zapped. Or kitna ghumati hai wo kis kis ko? Or ye bhi kitna ghumata hai? One boyfriend went to a girlfriend. House, the mother father were not there, so he went. And the girlfriend said, Can I make a cup of coffee for you? So please. So she went to brew some coffee inside. So this guy thought, let me see how she has saved my name on the phone. Janu, darling, honey. Kya likke, kya caller ID pe save kiya hai? So he gave a missed call to her to see on her phone what comes. And on her phone the caller ID was saved Murga number Panch. Hare Krishna. All combination of the five elements, Bhumir, Apaha, Anala, Vayuhu, Vayuhu. I didn't know how to show air, so I put fan. <laughs> Khammano buddhirevacha, Kham, space. I didn't know how to show space, so I showed an empty glass. Earth, water, fire, air, space, Krishna. What does he say in the Gita? Bhumir apa analo vayu khammano buddhir evacha ahankaram itiyam me bhinna prakriti rashtada. It comes from him. We saw the definition. God means he who is the source of everything. And the first thing that exists in this creation is matter. An iPhone, a projector, a wooden table, a cup, a box, a laptop, a microphone. A speaker, a fan, an air conditioner, a building, a body, a lady, a child, all made of earth, water, fire, air, and ether. He is the source of these five elements which combine together to form the variety of this world. Just as these 26 alphabets combine together to form variety in literature and poetry. But, I must tell you something. You must read this interesting passage, you know. Can someone read it aloud, please? Even though, even though my typewriter is an old model, it works very well, except for one uh, key. You would think that with all the other keys functioning properly, one key not working would hardly be noticed. But just one key out of uh, which uh, seems to ruin the whole effort. You may say to yourself, well, I'm the only, I'm only one person. No one will notice if I don't do my best. But it does make a difference because an effective organization needs active participation by everyone to the best of his or her ability. So the next time you think you are not important, remember my old typewriter. You are a key person. Are you saying that to me? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Let's give him a big hand. You read it well, isn't it? Alphabets are dead, you know. They're dead. Unless there's life that is put in it, you cannot convey your feeling. You cannot convey your feeling. When you write an apology letter to someone just for the sake of writing it, you cannot convey that feeling. Those five alphabets, S O double R Y, are a combination of alphabets. If you don't put feeling in it, it doesn't mean anything to the person. Anything to the person. 
एवरी वन स्मार्ट इनफ बोलता है बोल रहा है सॉरी बस इट डजन मीन इट द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एल्फोबेट इज डेड लैंग्वेज यू हैव टू पुट लाइफ इन द लैंग्वेज अ पोएट इज कंबाइनिंग इट इन वर्ड्स बट इज नॉट जस्ट कंबाइनिंग इट इन वर्ड्स इज पुटिंग इज इमोशन इज फीलिंग लाइफ इन टू इट विदाउट लाइफ ऑल दिस कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एल्फोबेट इज डेड Dead, and I have written po. I have written poems. I have read poems. I have written stories. I have written books. Unless you put the emotion of your heart, it's dead language. Very important for relationships. Be genuine. Be sincere. From the core, when you say a sorry, mean the sorry. When you say a thank you, mean the thank you. or the thank you and a sorry is a combination of dead words many times people come to me and say prabhu ji how can i serve you i say okay why don't you do one thing i was supposed to go to fort to collect my visiting cards can you just go and get them for me oh prabhu ji actually no <coughs> i had an appointment with some बोलो पूछा क्यों आई आस्क यू डिड आई आस्क यू टू आस्क मी हाउ कैन आई सर्व यू ऑल वर्ड्स बनाडो ऑल वर्ड्स आई डोंट नो इफ यू एवर सीन दिस मूवी आई रेकमेंड प्लीज सी इट सेंट फ्रांसिस ऑफ अ सी सी दिस वन सॉन्ग इन दैट मूवी विच इज सच अ रिवीलिंग सॉन्ग इफ यू वॉन्ट योर ड्रीम्स टू बी बिल्ड इट स्लो but surely small beginnings greater ends heartfelt work grows purely if you want to live life free take your time go slowly i forgot my christian songs you know last one is something else simple joys are holy stone by stone day by day build your secret slowly you stone by stone day by day you'll re- you'll know heaven's glory something to that effect half the words have gone but in that movie francis friend bernardo comes and says francis can i help you <laughs> he doesn't look at him you know goes and puts one more brick in the church and turns and says words all words banado how many of you realize in your relationships they are all empty feelingless heartless dead words a combination of a to z i love you really Really? Get me a bomb in Russia. It's a watch, by the way. <laughs> Love you, serve you. अरे पूछो मत. Don't ask me how can I serve you, Prabhu. Unless you mean how can I serve you. All these dead words get life and f- only when there is feeling and emotion. Why am I saying this? Because all these combinations of matter now they are dead, just like words are dead. Earth, water, fire, air, and ether is dead unless there is life put into it. Nothing can happen. This body is dead, and Krishna puts in the soul in that body. And in the Gita, he says how he is the source of that soul. Bhagavad Gita, seven point five. a combination of matter and soul is you and me you and me form a phone you and me make a laptop you and me put earth water fire air together to make a projector you and me put earth water fire air and ether together to make an air conditioner a watch a, some jewelry you know and therefore krishna is the source of matter krishna is the source of life and that's what exists So when he is the source of everything, is automatically the proprietor, the enjoyer, 
and the controller and friends you remember the second definition i'm sorry it's gone ahead he who has six opulences what is the first opulence wealth my goodness how many of you worship lakshmi everybody na bola dusra koi kare nahi kare lakshmi maiya khilau tujhe sivaiya पार कर नहीं आ, दे दे रुपया <laughs> लक्ष्मी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेदर एनी पूजा यू डू और नॉट डू लक्ष्मी पूजा हरे कृष्णा एंड लक्ष्मी इज सिंपली मसाजिंग द फीट ऑफ विष्णु हु इज सिंपली एन इनकारनेशन ऑफ कृष्णा इमेजिन इफ अंबानी मुकेश अंबानी कम्स टू मसाज योर फीट अरे <laughs> सबके चेहरे खिल गए <laughs> अरे मुकेश अंबानी कम्स टू मसाज माय फीट एवरीवन गोइंग टू थिंक दैट इफ सच अ पर्सन इज मसाजिंग द फीट ये कौन है इफ मुकेश अंबानी इज मसाजिंग समवंस फीट हु इज दिस पर्सन इफ लक्ष्मी हु इज द गिवर ऑफ वेल्थ इज मसाजिंग द लॉर्ड स्पीट हाउ वेल्दी दैट पर्सन मस्ट बी द सोर्स ऑफ ऑल वेल्थ एवरीथिंग बिलोंग्स टू him and he doesn't need her wealth he doesn't need her he doesn't need her he doesn't need her wealth everything is his we need a lot of wealth you know sometimes it comes from the wife's side therefore they say what is the one professor asked the management student what is the best law to start a business he said father in law <laughs> how do you what is the best law to start a business father in law ameer aadmi se beti se shaadi karo ho jayega one guy beggar was begging at haji ali and said to the guy from the car said sir 300 rupya de do na <laughs> to he said rascal 300 rupya mang raha sharam nahi aata kyun chahiye 300 rupya bola barista mein coffee peena hai <laughs> be sharam ek to 300 rupya mangta hai upar se bolta hai barista mein coffee peena what the hell are you saying you want to drink coffee in barista and by the way 150 rupees sufficient for right one cup of coffee why want 300 bola girlfriend bhi hai <laughs> so this guy said rascal bhikari ho ke girlfriend rakhta hai he said nahi saab girlfriend hai isliye bhikari ho gaya <laughs> are ji paisa paisa kaisa khali hota hai na मैं क्या बोलूं आपको एक जित करके बैठ गई ना वन सन आस्ट फादर पप्पा हाउ मच डिड योर मैरिज कॉस्ट ही सेट बेटा आई एम स्टिल पेइंग स्टिल माय गुडनेस वेल्थ स्ट्रेंथ व्हेन कृष्णा वाज ओनली सेवन इयर्स ओल्ड he held up the govardhan hill for 7 days and 7 nights and if you think this is all mythology these are all stories created by the imagination of someone these are in those very same books from where all the predictions and historical information came true how can we mistrust those books and the historical records there everything else has come true how can i say this is not true then you know there's a guy called dr manish pandit Oxford University England who has done extensive research based on one Dr Narendra Achar's works from the University of Tennessee United States of America and both of them have astronomically astrologically archaeologically proven how Mahabharat and Krishna was a real person Saraswati films have released that documentary If you are thinking I am talking based on scripture, they are talking based on modern knowledge. Right? It's not just a mythological thing. Beauty. Someone who has wealth, someone who has strength, someone who has beauty, and it's not about beauty lies in the eye of the beholder. Objective beauty. Black beauty. Krishna is black beauty. I'll tell you if you come to our Iskon temples and see the beautiful murtis decorated, gorgeous, you know. घंटों बैठ सकता है आदमी उधर ऐसे ही देखते. And it's not stone. On the last day, I'm going to explain to you how it is not stone. All your anxieties, all your worries, 
यू लुक एट द एंटिक्स इन योर हाउस ऐसे कोई जापानी गुड़िया ऐसे खड़ी है तकलीफ में ना उसके पास जाके देखो ऐसा दर्शन लो उसका अम्मा आशीर्वाद दे दे और लुक एट द ब्यूटी ऑफ द लॉर्ड इवन अ डेटी इन द टेम्पल द गॉर्जियसली डेकोरेटेड ब्यूटिफुल डेटी एंड सी हाउ योर माइंड इमीजिएटली बिकम्स पीसफुल Your anxieties are gone. You feel hope. You feel inspiration. You feel uplifted. You know. And what about knowledge? On the battlefield of Kurukshetra, five thousand years back, Krishna spoke the Gita in about an hour's time. He didn't have to think. He sang it. Geet means a song. Bhagavat comes from God. The song of God, Bhagavat Gita. He didn't speak. He sang it. Imagine if I start singing my lecture. Lord Krishna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra 5000 years ago sang the Gita and should I tell all of you something that just in about 2 days we're going to finish off with our course congratulations for coming here for 7 days i can speak i can't speak creative things i will only keep speaking and giving it a tune one hour he sang the Gita such profound knowledge albert einstein isaac newton open haima henry david thoreau william wordsworth and so many others not just indian breeds were die hard students of the gita albert einstein was a die hard student of the gita he kept dwelling on the gita reading the gita every morning kept quoting the gita in his talks you know that knowledge spoken in an hour has left all of us intrigued even today that we are all sitting here trying to understand what this book tells us knowledge and fame my goodness even as a thief you steal something chocolate will everyone call your child jai chocolate chor ki jai <laughs> bolo chocolate chor ki jai 5000 years have gone and krishna stole butter and today also we say maiya mori main nahi ma khan khayo bol ma khan chor ki jaye we say ha huh? kya jaye chori kiya na was he in need of butter ma khan no that is a later topic we'll discuss why he did that and he's flirting around with 16000 gopis and everyone is saying bolo ras bihari lal ki jaye ras nachte hain aap karke dekho ras <laughs> hanging garden ke kunj mein 16 ki 16000 ne 16 ko leke nach ke dekho agle din aapko kya bolenge bolo ras kal ki jaye not ras bihari lal ki jaye <laughs> thousands of years have passed and apparently immoral acts of god krishna have been glorified because they are not immoral we will hear later how they are not immoral it's out of the scope of our discussion now and renunciation my goodness on the battlefield of kurukshetra when krishna was driving the chariot of arjun as a chauffeur will an ambani or a birla or a tata or a godrej or a gates or a buffet agree to be a chauffeur a chauffeur to his servant and chauffeur is still fine you know on the battlefield when you act as a chauffeur na you know what the warrior arjun has to fight release arrows he cannot concentrate on fighting and telling him abhi light left row right low he has to focus on fighting he has to kick the chauffeur kick the charioteer on the back to tell him where to go kick on the left side of the spine turn left kick on the right side of the spine turn right kick in the center of the spine go straight this whole code language by kicking and here is krishna sitting on the chariot being kicked by arjun on the back it requires great renunciation to be a chauffeur you know agar aap bole aaja driver tu aaj nahi chala tu baith main chalata hu and the driver sits from behind and gives you a jhapad on the left matlab kyun mara left turn karne bol raha 
रास्कल एक तो मैं ड्राइव कर रहा हूं ऊपर से भारता है मेरे को यू नो एंड आफ्टर गिविंग ऑल द नॉलेज ऑफ द गीता ना यू नो वॉट लॉर्ड कृष्ण सेट टू अर्जुन अर्जुन यथा इच्छा सी तथा गुरु अभी जो तेरी इच्छा है वो कर मैंने तो बोल दिया तुझे सब दिस वर्स इज द फेवरेट ऑफ एवरी वन बिकॉज आफ्टर हियरिंग द गीता देसी देखो क्या बोला है यथा इच्छा सी तथा गुरु इसलिए पब जा रहा हूं वन गाय टोटली ड्रंक वॉज वॉकिंग इन द नाइट यू नो वन ए एम एंड वॉज कॉट बाय द पुलिस पूरा झूम रहा है वो झूमिंग यू नो द पुलिस काटे बोला किधर जा रहा है वेरी गोई हि सट प्रवचन सुनने <laughs> बोला नाला है रात का एक बज रहा है प्रवचन सुनने किधर कौन प्रवचनकार कौन है बोला पत्नी <laughs> रात के एक बजे वही प्रवचन देने वाले टॉपिक क्या है शराब पीने के डिसएडवांटेजेस माय गॉड आई एल टेल यू द डिटैचमेंट एंड द रिनाउंसिएशन द लॉर्ड इज यथा इच्छा सी तथा गुरु डू एज यू वांट व्हेन आई स्पीक ना समटाइम्स आई टेल स्टूडेंट्स एंड आई ट्राई टू ट्रेन देम आप एंड आफ्टर अ वाइल Five, seven years of training them to become first-class gentlemen, and after that, they do some things. What should I tell you? I am so disappointed. I gave him my blood, blood and energy. Spent hours with him till midnight trying to solve his issues and problems. Begged from people to give him financial help, you know. And at the end of it all. this guy this turns out to do something and you know what for days together my mind is disturbed because i don't have that renunciation after teaching i expect that people should follow in a certain way krishna teaches arjun and says now yatha ichasi tatha kuru he killed so many demons did not take a single penny or a throne Every single time Krishna killed a demon, killed an unwanted personality who was posing as a king, he gave over the throne to his son or his grandson. After winning the battle of Kurukshetra, he was the one who won the battle, not the Pandavas. He empowered them. He didn't take the throne of Astinapur. He put Yudhishthir on the throne of Astinapur. Requires great renunciation, and therefore Krishna fits in the second definition of God as well. He who has all the six opulences forever. in the fullest to the fullest degree now the next question friends the slide color has changed if krishna is the supreme then what about the others mariamba ma ha su thayu mariamba ma no su thayu hai na che ne aao amse ganpati bappa asa kasa त्यांना सगळ्याला कृष्ण तुमचे कृष्ण म्हणून भासरी दिली हाताकडे म्हणाले ते भगवान आणि आमचे गणपती बाप्पांचं काय बरं गणपती मी बी गाणा कसे गाते देखो देवा हो देवा गणपती देवा तुमसे बडकर कोण स्वामी तुमसे बडकर कोण और तुम्हारे भक्त जनो मे हमसे बड उसमे बी इगो हमसे बड़ उसमें भी मैं बेस्ट हमसे बढ़कर कौन स्वामी हमसे बढ़कर यू कैट रिलीजन माई गॉड आई कैट टेल यू हु आर दी अदर्स इफ कृष्णा इज द बॉस एंड गॉड देन हु आर दी अदर्स इफ मुकेश अंबानी इज द बॉस देन हु आर दी अदर्स इन द रिलायंस हा हाजी सबॉर्डिनेट कोऑर्डिनेटर्स ओके रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ओके एम्प्लॉइज ओके कोऑर्डिनेटर्स रिप्रेजेंटेटिव एम्प्लॉइज प्रियांक सीईओज ओके सीईओज प्रेसिडेंट्स वाइप प्रेसिडेंट्स हेड ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट्स सेल्स हेड्स मार्केटिंग हेड्स एडमिन हेड्स फाइनेंस हेड्स एच आर हेड्स and what is mukesh doing playing golf in zurek 
अरे बॉस है भाई वो बनाएगा घर उधर ऊपर रहते तो नहीं है बड़ा मकान बनाएगा और उसमें एक फ्लोर पे पूरा गार्डन है गार्डन आई हैव बीन एंड सीन व्हाट अ मैसिव मैंशन माय गॉड यू नो ऊफ हु आर द अदर्स सेम एग्जांपल If Krishna is the boss, who are the others? If Mukesh Bhai is the boss, who are the others? Admin heads, representatives, head of departments, organizers, CEOs. Yes. If Krishna is the boss, who is the head of the rain department? Indra. If Krishna is the boss, who is the head of the light department? Surya. If Krishna is the boss, who is the head of the heat department? Agni, if Krishna is the boss, who is the head of the water department? Varuna. If Krishna is the head, who is the boss i mean the head of the vegetation department chandra if krishna is the boss who is the head of the air department vayu if krishna is the boss who is the head of the finance department lakshmi if krishna is the boss who is the head of the treasury kuvera if krishna is the boss who is the head of the defense durga devi if krishna is the boss who is the commander in chief of the army there kartikeya murugesh murugaiya if krishna is the boss Now, who is the education and training department saraswati if krishna is the boss who is the placement officer <laughs> yam <laughs> yamraj putting you placing you in different bodies at different time <laughs> if krishna is the boss who is the head of the construction department lord brahma if ambani is the boss who is the president some name who is the vice president some name who is the ceo some name therefore there is a difference between the boss and the others who work for the boss as representatives in that company taking care of the admin of that company krishna is called bhagavan these admin heads are called devatas mark the difference it's not the same word bhagavan means bhaga one the possessor of six opulences devatas means the administrative heads of this universe the ones whom we have seen right now so how many departments are there in this universe 33 crores because there are 33 crore departments in this universe therefore obviously there are 33 crore admin heads of this universe taking care of each of these departments in fact the blinking of the eyes has a head head who makes your eyes blink in fact downloading files after uploading has a head mitradev so uploading is very easy in kaliyuga after eating white flour downloading becomes very hard you know my god each one 33 crore admin heads devatas bhagwan read any vedic literature pick up any one and you will find wherever shiva speaks shri rudra uvacha wherever ganesh speaks shri ganesh uvacha indra speaks shri indro uvacha wherever krishna speaks shri bhagavan uvacha never his name will come up there shri bhagavan uvacha clearly demarcated you read objectively observe and you will see the difference you know uh, what is the difference between krishna god and the devatas demi god there is a god and there is demi gods there is bhagavan and there is devatas there is mukesh ambani and his entire team who runs the admin of the company devatas are one who run the admin of the universe krishna god is one the demigods are many 33 crore in number what is the difference between their abodes please mark the acronym n stands for numbers one and many a stands for abodes krishna lives in an eternal abode called goloka which is not destroyed by the power of time time does not destroy his abode the demigods live in a place called swarga heavens and heavens are destroyed 
by the power of time tomorrow we'll be talking about whether there is a heaven and a hell at all we will be talking about the rational behind heaven and hell do we have something like a heaven or hell we'll talk about it tomorrow evening but suffice to say that they live in a place called heaven which is temporary is destroyed what is their work n a w w stands for work work boss is work is what enjoy devatas administrative heads what are their what is their work their work is i'm sorry the the uh, slide is the some goof up there there's some goof up there the slide is a wrong slide it's supposed to be different pictures there but the other the demigods are administrative people who work manage the affairs of this universe krishna simply enjoys one uh, american fellow came to india and as he was leaving back at the airport one indian man asked him sir what's your conclusion after coming to india he said i've started believing in a god I said really how he said the way the affairs of this country are running there is no choice but to believe that there must be a god <laughs> you know a german fellow came to india and as he was leaving the country he was sitting at the airport someone asked him what was your realization in india he said krishna is god he said you went to iskon they must have brain washed you thinking krishna is god he said no i never went and even i didn't hear so how did you conclude he said i went to all the different temples in this country i saw everyone having something or doing something i saw someone having a spear i saw something having a trishul i saw someone having something everyone was busy working everyone was busy working all the murtis deities have something that they are doing when i went to this krishna temple i saw this guy doing nothing you know <laughs> holding a flute having a great time you know enjoying life and not just that i saw a girlfriend with him not one two more were there one here one there three three this guy is having a great time huh? he said god means not someone who works and ad- get in, gets involved with administration god means one who is a supreme enjoyer who does not have to do anything if he has to do something he cannot be called god if mukesh ambani has to come down and sweep the floor on his company he is not mukesh ambani not the boss of the company he is having a great time he has people who do it for him devatas are engaged in administration work that's the next slide actually activity is enjoyment and administration i actually made it wrong let's take the opinions of some personalities whether krishna is god Vyasadev decided to write the Mahabharat. When he decided to write the Mahabharat, he needed a scribe to write it down. Brahma said, "Call Ganesh." So he said, "Okay." Ganpati Bappa came. Vyas Ganesh said, "I have one condition. My dear Vyas, you have to speak like the flow of the Ganges without a stop. As soon as you stop, I leave. Non-stop, you have to dictate." Yes, they said no problem. But even I have a condition. Unless you understand things thoroughly, you will not write. That's okay. I'll speak fast, non-stop. But unless you understand things thoroughly, you will not jot it down. I said okay, no problem. Now, yes, they would words flowing like Ganga, non-stop. But whenever he had to think, now he would give Ganpati a riddle. Solve the riddle. Till that, I'll think and come back to you. in the mahabharat there are 8000 such riddles interspersed all over 8000 riddles which were given to ganesh so that he could keep his mind busy to decipher the meaning meanwhile vyasadev would plan his next talk to write i'll give you one riddle one riddle that vyasadev told ganesh he said five things must be considered extremely holy and auspicious what all first the paraphernalia of lord shiva What does Lord Shiva have? Nag, snakes, ashes, crematorium ashes. Not even ashes. They are ashes from dead bodies. 
and has all these jattas and khopdis as necklace pure consider it pure he said the second thing you should consider pure is a place where birds pass ganpati was really scratching his head he kya riddle diya third thing he said is you should consider the jhoota of someone to be pure now what is to they do it anyways aadha samosa khata hai dusre friend ko deta tu kha le you know and they'll smoke one cigarette half and then you take a puff give me back from straight from the mouth jhoota should be considered pure fourth the cloth from a dead body should be considered extremely pure next time when you go for a funeral what will you do bola kapda nikal ke laate pure shirt bana lega uska and the last thing was a hit you know he said the vomit of a person should be considered extremely pure and consumed <laughs> ulti bhad kar ke considered pure and should be licked and taken <laughs> so ganesh ji thought and solved the riddle what is the solution to the riddle first paraphernalia of lord shiva should be considered pure ganga coming from his head second a place where birds pass should be considered pure not your maruti suzuki where the birds pass a banyan tree third jhoota should be considered pure what jhoota milk of a cow because until unless the calf suckles the cow milk cannot be got so whatever milk you get is the remnants the jhoota of the calf fourth the cloth from a dead body should be considered extremely auspicious and pure silk because only when the silk comb the cocoon is gone do you get silk you know it's from a dead body and it's considered extremely auspicious and pure fifth this one is the last one sunna chahte ulti vomit should be considered extremely pure ganesh ji understood this to be honey because honey bee will go flower to flower gets honey <laughs> vomit it in the beehive what do you drink and eat ice cream aata to trickle karte na ulti ah in this mahabharat comes the bhagavad gita a part of the bhishma parva is the gita in which lord krishna says sarva dharman parityajya mam ekam sharanam varaja give up all so called varieties of religion and surrender unto me and ganesh ji understood it and wrote it down he did not say krishna mam ekam nahi mam dvitiyam aap aur main asa nahi ya ata evda lihle na tumcha sathi basun basun evda lihle na ata tumhi ani mi dogha He didn't say it. He wrote it down. Mam ekam sharanam raj. All Ganesh bhaktas, if you are true Ganesh bhaktas, you will do what Ganesh says, not what your mind says. And look what Ganesh says in the Gita. He wrote it down in front of Vyas with great thought, and after having understood thoroughly that Krishna is the supreme, and I must take shelter of him as well. You know. And if you see Mahadev Shambhu, Lord Shiva. always in a posture holding a mala closing his eyes mala pe ke apna naam japte hai om namah shivaya om namah shivaya imagine if i have my mala and i said gor gopal das 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 gor dos dor das gopal 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 gor 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 gopal 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 das 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 gor 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 gopal 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 das 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 how can i chant my own name so parvati got a doubt she saw shiva and she said bole na I have a question. I thought you were the boss. What is this? You are now chanting on Mala someone's name. Whose name are you chanting? And then Lord Shiva said, Rama 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 Ti Rama Rama Mano Rama Sahastra Nama Tatulyam Rama Nama Varanane. On the beads, I chant the name of my beloved Lord Ram. You know. Therefore, if someone is a true Shiva bhakta, na, he will do what his master does, and what his master says, not what his mind says. So we are not talking on emotion and sentiment. Look at this, holding a mala, meditating on whom? 
Ganesh ji, after understanding from Vyasadev, writing the Gita, is he a nut to write it that Krishna is God? Will he call him a nut? We worship him, we adore him. We have to take his verdict. He's thoughtfully written it down. And B stands for bodies. Krishna's body is eternal. The demigods die. Demigods are temporary posts. Indra is a post which is occupied today by a person whose name is Purandar. Chandra is a post which is occupied today by a person whose name is Soma. Surya is a post which is occupied today by a person whose name is Vivaswan. And this post will be emptied. The Prime Minister is a post which is occupied today by a person whose name is Manmohan Singh. It will change hopefully one day. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you see, posts. You can be a demigod. Each one of you can be a devata. Each one of you can be an Indra, Chandra, Varuna, Vayu, Ganesh, all these demigods. Because these are all posts. And if you live a sin-free life, a pious life and scriptures tell us what do we need to do if you live hundred lifetimes without doing a single wrong thing, speaking a single wrong thing or thinking a single wrong thing, you qualify to take the position of Brahma. But Brahma has the longest lifespan, longest lasting body, even he dies. You know what is his life according to earthly calculations? 311 trillion 40 billion years only he still dies and when the demigods die they push them from those heavenly abodes and when they push down when they are pushed their bodies are finishing after their tenure as they are pushed down what you see as a shooting star is the body of the demigod getting over therefore you see it's falling and then gone and what do they say? Make a wish. Why make a wish? Stars don't fulfill wish. There are stars all over the sky. A demigod is dying. Krishna doesn't die. He has an eternal body, not affected by the power of time, unlike the demigods. Ten minutes to go, friends. Few more slides are left and I shall finish my topic for today. What is the difference in worship of God and demigod? Krishna and dem the devatas? The worship of Krishna is about giving. The worship of the devas is about taking. Mangalwar Siddhi Vinayak Bappa Paskar Mala. Guruvar some other place Bappa Paise Dya. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. It's become business. Devata Puja is all about business. All about business. Going to this deva, that deva, only wanting, 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 wanting. One guy prayed, my dear deva, my dear bappa, please, please, I have two desires. What? I want a bag full of money and want to be surrounded only by girls. He was made the conductor of a lady's bus. <laughs> with a bag full of chiller and only girls surrounding <laughs> You know, Devata Puja is all about taking. Krishna Puja, devotees of Krishna want to give, want to love. Religious is not a business enterprise to come and say, give, give, give me this, give me that. That's also okay, at least coming to God, at least coming there is okay. But that's not the purpose. And therefore the worship is the motivation. Difference between the demigod and Krishna worship, first difference is motivation. One has the motivation to give. Other has the motivation to take from the devas. Therefore, John F. Kennedy said, Ask not what the country can do for you. Ask what you can do for the country. Ask not what God can do for you. Ask what you can do for God. In London, I heard Aarti. In our temple, one Gujarati Masi was singing in English. English Aarti ga rahi She was singing, Give my son a PhD. And a Mercedes. Give him a Mercedes SL. Give him a Mercedes SL. And a cottage by the sea. Om Jai 
जगदीश हरे ओनली डिमांडिंग भक्ति इज अबाउट गिविंग टू गॉड not taking so the difference between worship of demigods and krishna is this the second difference is krishna gives you what you need the demigods give you what you want you know a child may want to eat chocolates but it may not be good for his health so what does the mother say no beta no chocolates whatever you want you won't get you will get what you need because that's good for you If the same child gets twenty rupees from the uncle and goes to the shopkeeper and says, "Uncle, chocolate," will he say, "Nahi, bata, bura hai tere liye ja"? He'll take the twenty rupees, give you the chocolate, whether it's good for you or bad for you. Does not matter. One tiny little girl came to the dukan and said, "Uncle, uncle, a question, question, puchu." Bola, puch na, beti, puch. बोला आपका बेटा है ना वो वो जब बड़ा हो जाएगा ना आप उससे मेरी शादी करेंगे अंकिल दुकानदार बोला हाँ गुड़िया तू इतनी सुंदर इतनी प्रिटी है ना मैं जरूर शादी करूंगा तो शी सेड अंकल आपके होने वाली बहू को दो चॉकलेट दे दो ना माई गॉड यू नो समिंग Krishna gives us what we need therefore people don't want to come to Krishna because they know that's not about our wants getting fulfilled Krishna knows what is good for me like a parent therefore sometimes in Krishna worship you don't always get what you want whereas in devta puja immediately you give him the money durva grass get this okay pel patta get this all these things you do the particular puja you get so people who want their wants to be fulfilled go to demigods people who want their needs of life needs of the soul to be fulfilled go to krishna and worship him what are the benedictions that krishna gives they are eternal they go with you when the soul leaves what are the benedictions that the demigods give money homes cars jewelry clothes results all of those stay back all the benedictions offered by the devatas will stay back all the benedictions offered by krishna which are eternal for the soul will go with us therefore the difference between their worship is mob m for motivation o for what do they offer need and want and b for benedictions temporary and eternal friends you must be wondering hamare devtaon ko aaj bhaga diya yaar ek hare takle hare krishna ne इतने सालों से मैं पूजा कर रहा था कर रही थी ऐसा अचानक शेक करके बोला कृष्णा कृष्णा बाकी होगा क्या होगा यू नो मैन गर्ल्स गेट्स मैरिड ना द गर्ल गेट्स मैरिड नॉट जस्ट टू द गाय द गर्ल गेट्स मैरिड टू द फैमिली यू नो वट आर द टू एक्सट्रीम्स ऑफ अ मैरिड गर्ल द टू एक्सट्रीम्स आर शी निग्लेक्ट द हजबेंड एंड ओनली अटेंड्स टू द इन लॉज और हसबेंड बोलता कॉफी बनाएगी नहीं ससुर जी के पैर दबा रही हूं एक घंटे बाद अरे थोड़ा चाय बनाएगी नहीं नहीं सास का कपड़ा धो रही हूं अरे थोड़ा मेरे लिए पोहा बना नहीं नहीं देवर जी को मदद कर रही हूं अरे तूने देवर सास ससुर से शादी की मेरे से शादी की वन एक्सट्रीम इज जस्ट बींग सो मच इन्वॉल्व विद द फैमिली दैट यू फर्गेट योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टूवर्ड्स द हजबेंड द सेकेंड एक्सट्रीम इज यू आर सो मच इन्वॉल्व विद द हजबेंड दैट यू फर्गेट द फैमिली सास ससुर कुछ नहीं मेरो तो गिर धर गोपाल दूसरो ना कोई जा जा ये मेरा है बोध आर एक्सट्रीम्स हु इज अ बैलेंस्ड हाउस अ बैलेंस्ड वाइफ इज शी हु नोज माय फर्स्ट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज टूवर्ड्स माय हस्बैंड आई विल टेक केयर ऑफ हिम सर्व हिम लव हिम एंड देन माय रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज आल्सो टूवर्ड्स द फैमिली ऑफ माय हस्बैंड I'll please my mother-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, father-in-law, and learn from them things in a way I can serve my husband better. Never be an extremist. Krishna is like the husband, and all the devatas are like his family. What is one extreme? Just worship the devas and forget Krishna. What is other extreme? In the name of Krishna, reject all the devas. Our first responsibility is towards Krishna, who is our husband. but because the devas are his family his devotees we offer respects to them i offer my respects to ganesh ji ganpati bappa you are vigna harta 
प्लीज टेक माय विघ्नर्स अवे इन अवे आई कैन सर्व आर मास्टर कृष्णा बेटर सरस्वती देवी यू आर द गॉडेस ऑफ नॉलेज प्लीज गिव मी नॉलेज इन अ वे दैट आई डोंट जस्ट क्लियर माय एग्जाम बट आई अंडरस्टैंड द पर्पज ऑफ लाइफ द वर्ड्स ऑफ आर लॉर्ड कृष्णा इन द गीता यू नो वी वर्शिप ऑल दिस फैमिली मेंबर्स ऑफ कृष्णा टू गेट हेल्प फ्रॉम देम इन अ वे दैट वी कैन सर्व कृष्णा बेटर just like the lady will get help from all the family members of the husband to serve the husband better so do not think this is an extremist path krishna comes along with his family the family of devas and we don't go to an extreme end of rejecting them or disrespecting them rather we honor them as men of krishna friends ladies and gentlemen we are concluding for this evening if we have 33 crore demigods and if we were to worship all of them every day and we have only 24 hours how many would we have to worship in a day per second mathematics mein kaun acha hai per second kitne ko puja karna padega 3819 per second and you can't neglect one of them sabne aapko kuch kuch diya hai you have to worship all daily 24 ghanta puja hi karega nahi do you know all of them naam batao kin kin ke देवताओं के नाम बताओ गिनाओ स्टार्ट शिव आदमी अग्नि सूर्य गणेश हनुमान सोमदेव गौ माता सोमदेव रोमदेव गोमदेव सब नाम गिना के भी सो भी नहीं आता हमको सो भी नहीं आता नाम अगर पूजा करना भी है नाम किधर मालूम है नाम तो मालूम पड़ गया अभी अगर तो टाइम है क्या 24 घंटे पूजा ही करेगा खाना पीना बनाना है नौकरी धंधा नहीं करना है एंड इवन इफ समहाउ यू हैव टाइम टू वर्शिप इज देर प्रोसीजर्स टू वर्शिप द सेम एवरी वन प्रोसीजर इज डिफरेंट हनुमान को तेल चढ़ाओ शिवजी को दूध चढ़ाओ गणपति को मोदक चाहिए किसी और को कुछ और चाहिए अरे क्या रेसिपी बना के रखा है सबने घास फूस भी सब अलग अलग है सबका सबको अलग अलग कैसे देंगे यू नो देर फर देर इज अ प्रैक्टिकल प्रपोजल कृष्णा इज लाइक द रूट ऑफ द ट्री ऑल द देवर्स आर लाइक द पार्ट्स ऑफ द ट्री इफ यू वॉटर द पार्ट सेपरेटली यू वॉन्ट रीच द वॉटर वॉन्ट रीच देम इफ यू वर्शिप ऑल दिस थर्टी थ्री क्रोर टूगेदर यू के नॉट रीच देम बट यू पोर वॉटर एट द रूट ना द वॉटर विल रीच एवरी सिंगल पार्ट ऑफ द ट्री Similarly, when we learn how to worship Krishna, automatically all 33 crores in one shot are satisfied. If you water the root of the tree, all parts in one shot get that what. Similarly, when we serve Krishna and worship Him, all the 33 crore devatas will automatically get their worship. A quick summary of day three. The first point we discussed this evening was God is one, known by. different names like allah jehova ram krishna we discussed there are many scriptures why because there are different levels of people based on the level of the person to understand there are so many books the third thing we discussed that god is a person he has a form ears not just hanging like that he is listening to our prayers the fourth thing we heard was lord krishna fits into the two definitions of god that we made on day 2 the fifth point we discussed this evening was I'm sorry that point has come wrongly there. The difference between God and demigods. What was the difference? Numbers, one and many. Abodes, Goloka and heaven. Uh, work. I don't know what I put as W. Work, right? Was administration and and enjoyment. I I think I messed up with that A. b was bodies temporary and eternal then we discuss the difference between the worship of krishna and the devas what was the difference krishna worship is motivation is to give deva worship is the motivation is to take krishna worship what does krishna offer what we need what do the devas offer what we want what are the benedictions offered by krishna eternal which can be taken with us what are the benedictions offered by the devas everything that stays back in this world last point we discussed was te tis koti ko ek sath puja nahi kar sakte na root pe pani dal do root pe pani dalenge na 
अपने आप तेतीस कोटि की पूजा हो जाएगी नेवर फर्गेट नेवर बी एन एक्सट्रीमिस्ट रिस्पेक्ट ऑल द देवर्स एज फैमिली ऑफ कृष्णा थैंक यू ऑल very much i am 1 minute late today according to my time on the laptop and tomorrow is a very very important talk on why do bad things happen to good people please don't miss the session tomorrow a lot of your questions will be answered in the session tomorrow thank you all very much hare krishna i shall be available for questions for those who have questions hare krishna